guess where I'm at? I'm literally outside Musicians Institute. I studied here. I attended on 2015 and it's incredible that after a while I just started touring like a full circle, you know? So anyway, uh, today's vlog is gonna be about the school and it's gonna be about how my life was. Can't wait to show you guys all the classrooms, gear that they have there. I'll try to explain what kind of classes I had. It's post-COVID because I attended before COVID, so post-COVID. Hopefully, we see some of my teachers there. So maybe classmates or not, different generations. And if you guys just clicked on this video to see what MI is like, let's go and check it out. The first thing is that you're gonna find a lot of security everywhere and you're gonna have badges. I don't have badge because I'm an alumni now. You have to scan here. Here's our buddy taking care of everybody. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're in, obviously we, we have to wear our masks. There's a concert hall where, you know, like we have shows, performances, tests and stuff. Hello. <laughs> so let's, let's go and check it out. Okay, so this is pretty much the concert hall. I used to be super scared of performing here and <laughs> now looking at this, I'm like, cool, this is easy. But of course they have this, so you have experience on stage, which I needed like a lot. It's pretty much all set to go. So you have your monitors, you know, the teachers go in the front rows, vocal teacher, you have the guitar teacher, you have the drum teacher, and they're all like the judges, right? So, um, they're gonna... Um, <laughs> they critique your performance. So you perform with your other classmates, you know, from other instruments. You don't jam because like they have already the songs set, you know, depending on the day and the time. So you sign up and then you just come here and play your part and everyone has to do that. You're supposed to blend in with everybody. Just standing here after having a sudden change in my career, it feels good, it's like a full circle. So this is another entrance, this is another lobby. There's a lot of buildings, so this is just like a little bit of it. Let's try to check out some rooms. Well here, I used to get a scoring class. When we attended here, uh, this was like where you, know, you would find different apartments, different buildings, where to stay, where to find a roommate. There was no dorms when we started MI. So it was a little bit different. You know, if, if you need a snack or something between lessons, you just go ahead and get whatever you want, pretty much. Exactly. And uh, that's our gypsy jazz guitar teacher. <laughs> Follow him. Hello. You get to see all the people that have performed here. This is another part of the building where, you know, like there's more rooms and classrooms where, you know, like we would do tests, perform. I think I would take here acid jazz. part of the campus so you get a lot of like discounts and stuff announcements if you if you're looking for a bandmate or whatever you just you know put it here oh let's go to floor number two 
the building is kind of divided by colors, so you just don't get lost. <laughs> Let's just get in one of the rooms where you can practice, or if you have a break and you wanna, you know, go through a song, play, jam, whatever. Each room has pretty much amps, bass, guitar, anything. There's more options usually, but because of COVID and stuff, there's not a lot going on right now. Every room has a Mac and sometimes keyboards. So, you know, you have one-on-one -on -one lessons here, or as I said, just, you know, practice. If you have questions about your music publishing, how to release a song or something, feedback on your website, on your social media, pretty much on anything and everything. There's also piano lessons over there. And what, oh! And then we have my favorite teacher over there. Dang, Ryan. Running away. I'm going into the bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, those teachers are. Okay. <laughs> Here I had a guitar, guitar studio lesson, which is pretty cool. You're just with another classmate, and the, the teacher is going to tell you how to act if you were to work on a studio with either a record label or someone that hires you. We have the vocal labs over here. So these are pretty much like booths only for the singers when they need to, you know, practice the, the lyrics for a performance or their homeworks or when they're actually recording their own things. So it's fully sealed, uh, noise proof. Technically privacy. So check it out. This is like their booth. So they have their piano, they have their speakers, and of course the computer. And there you go. You're allowed to practice and do whatever you need the independent artist program where you learn to do everything kind of by yourself. There will be a Pro Tools lab so you can either get certified in Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, any other. So right now we're gonna check out the library. This is kind of one of my favorite parts of the school because it's literally like the heart of it. You get to do exams here, you get to choose your schedule whenever you're starting. You get to practice there, you get to hang out and meet with people, but you have to be silent because most of the time you're either testing, you know, or make, like doing homework. On the computer, so you can use it for anything. Improve your ear training, improve your harmony and theory. Or well, you could just, you know, watch a concert on, <laughs> on, on the computer if you want to. I've done that. small pedal board so instead of using the speakers you plug in your, your headphones and just start practicing as you can tell it's super quiet that's why I cannot speak too much You know, like, have to sign up for the LPWs that I already talked about. We have the sheet music over here, so depending on what LPW you signed up for, you just would, you know, pick it up from here. I can play as, as hard as I want, can check out as many guitars as I want so for two hours at a time, yeah. Two hours. And what kind of brands do you guys have? We have a lot. We have 50 electric guitar, and I think that's like the largest in the country as the library. Yeah, we have handles, we have shelters, we have a lot of people. Oh, nice. Which one is the one that most people check out? Uh, unfortunately, it's like a Fender white strat. Oh, no. Really? We have so many amazing guitars. My favorite nice. is actually the Nick Johnston. No way guitar, that you have that. Nobody ever plays it, so it's in really good condition. It's one of the locker areas. My locker used to be here, actually. This is for audio engineers. So we would have ear training or piano lessons over here. We would have like a group lesson for piano. These are also practice rooms. So at least when I attended, it was 24 seven. 
So you could be practicing 3 a.m. in the morning as long as you book the room. You could record, jam with your band. The next floor for other classes, you know, usually harmony, performance, and jam with people. Drum laps. Here's where like all the noise begins. Just kidding. But it's just like the, like the vocal laps. Same boat for drum. This is Chris's room. And you know, it's, it's locked and everything. You know, it's all safe and secure. You get your charts, everything. You can just practice like whenever I want. But there's a lot of them. It's like a small maze over here. Music business over here as well. It's our workshops over here. And harmony and theory too. So um, this is pretty much the lobby, the main entrance. And this is called the Mysticious Institute Hall of Fame, where most of the iconic people and legends that graduated here are, you know, like gives you a lot of inspiration because you see that people made it, right? I'm lucky enough to be part of the alumni that is in the success stories on the website. You gotta be grateful for those kind of things. Almost there, we're gonna finish. I'm gonna show you some other classroom. Follow me along. This is pretty much not a part of the school, you know. This is kind of like a small auditorium. I used to come here for clinics. I saw Javier Reyes here for, from Anna's Leaders. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, like there's a lot of things that have changed so far. But uh, yeah, there's online lessons now. Used to come here also for like the performance class, not the tests or LPWs, but just the class in general. You would have a book, you have to learn the song, they explain the theory and stuff. You would just perform it with your classmates. It was not open to the whole school. I think I like a lot of MI that it's business classes. Machine has to do with composition. We have website classes and designs for our own things when you cannot rely on a on a record label. But uh, they teach you a lot of things. Most people think, oh, you just want to learn scales when it's not even true. I just think it's really funny how some people are like, why is she vlogging? Hollywood Boulevard. It gets a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Find Starbucks over there. Some people, you know, just go to McDonald's to each their own. There's a mall over there, uh, right on the boulevard. Sometimes you have like red carpets or like Hollywood events and you get to see just the outside of it. This is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful. If you're thinking of attending here, I hope that it solved some of your questions. You know, the way that it looks, the way that it is, the way that your classrooms are going to be. This is not paid or anything. <laughs> this is not a sponsorship or anything. Don't forget to follow me. My links are gonna be in the description. Subscribe, comment if you liked it. If you happen to attend here, let me know. I would really like to know if you did and what you think of the school. Social media, Jimena Posado, my links are over here. Subscribe, follow, share, and comment if you like this. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Bye! Coming to school helps, but it's not everything. Having all the contacts helps, but it's not everything. So you need to learn how to balance. Playing in front of people. Yeah, it's, I kind of just grew up playing in my bedroom, you know? Right. So. There's so much opportunity out there. The access to like the teachers that are here. All of your classmates are your, kind of your, like, your work buddies. I just want to make a living playing guitar. That's pretty much it. It's weird because we're all guitar players, and so deep down we all have this competitive edge, which challenges us to be like, hey, what's that? You know, instead of like being yeah. in our own corner. And Before attending MI, I wanted to see how it looked. Is it going to be worth it? Will I like it? It was a great experience. I work here, so it's good. Learn, be open-minded. A lot yeah. of the instructors kind of opened my mind uh, to jazz and 
like master it. You can never master it, but like just to know as much as I can. Right. And kind of implement it into my own stuff. After COVID, the school is definitely different. I mean, obviously it's been like, what, six years? <laughs> So I don't expect it to be like that, but definitely COVID changed it. 